Good morning everybody, it's Mr. Simpson here and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Simpson. Story day 23, I do believe. I've got a great book for you today. It is Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School. I love this book. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing braces today, Mrs. Blackwell from Wensley Fold Primary School said that she really missed them. So Mrs. Blackwell, these are for you. I hope you enjoy the story. Here we go. It was a big day for Harry. He was starting at his new school. He was very excited because one of his friends, Charlie, was starting that day too. Stegosaurus said he didn't want to go, not after Triceratops told him about no rars in class. Mum said not to worry, school would be fine. Harry blew his whistle just like a teacher. He said, in twos, holding hands, mild dinosaurs, no talking and jump in the bucket. The dinosaurs did what Harry said, all except Stegosaurus. He was so nervous, all his plates were rattling. Harry had to give him a special stroke. Sam said, you can't take dinosaurs to school, stupid. That's why her toast fell on the floor. Mum took Harry to school. Mrs. Rance was waiting at the classroom door when Harry and Mum got there. Hello, Harry, she said. Welcome to your new school. They all said goodbye to the mums and dads. Then Mrs. Rance showed Harry the coat pegs. You can leave your lunchbox here too, she said. Harry was too shy to say, could he have his bucket back? That's why his dinosaurs got left outside the classroom. Harry missed his dinosaurs. So he didn't like the classroom. He didn't like the home corner or his special work tray. And he felt sorry for another new boy with a digger who cried when his mum went home. The boy wouldn't say one single word, not even his name. Harry sort of liked the playground at playtime, but it wasn't much fun, even the monkey boys not without his dinosaurs. Back in class, the digger boy still wouldn't speak. Maybe he wants to go to the toilet, Harry suggested. I'll show him where it is, shall I? Mrs. Rance said, good idea. How thoughtful. All the way to the toilet, the boy kept quiet. It was the same on the way back, till they got to the coats. Then they heard a voice very sad and very soft. It said, That's my dinosaurs, said Harry. They miss me. Would you like to see them? The boy nodded. So Harry said, This is my Apatosaurus and my Ankyosaurus and my Slithysaurus. This is Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus. Uh, Pterodactyl is the baby. Hey, where's Stegosaurus? Jump out, Stegosaurus, called Harry. Don't be shy. But Stegosaurus wanted a whisper. Ah, oh, said Harry. Stegosaurus said he will come out, but only if he can have a ride on your digger. And you know what? The boy nodded and passed it over. When Harry and the boy got back, Mrs. Rand said, Oh, good, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Do they roar? Roar! Said the dinosaurs and blew all the windows open. My goodness, said Mrs. Rance. That was a roar. <laughs> they all sat down in the classroom. Now, we're going to make new labels for our coat pegs, said Mrs. Rance. Hands up who knows how to write their name. The boy with the digger put his hand up. And what are you going to write? Smiled Mrs. Rance. Jackasaurus, said the boy. It was the first word he had spoken all day. And what a good joke too. All the other children laughed and laughed. Harry felt very happy. Charlie, 
Harry and their new friend Jack sat down together at a table with the dinosaurs. They laughed and they roared and they made beautiful labels to show where they belonged. Endosaurus. Thank you very much. I hope you really enjoyed our story today and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.